One gets the sense while interviewing Tom Hollander that this man was born to play Truman Capote. The Bristol-born actor, entering his third decade of celebrated work on stage and screen, physically transforms into the literary icon in FX's upcoming feud, Capote vs. the Swans, a performance that ranges from playful to profound as it slowly swerves toward tragedy. But even without the stylish hat or sassy head tilt, without the voice that reaches oh so high, a Capote-esque twinkle still flickers in Hollander's eyes. A sharply cutting wit, a love for dishy chit-chat, a singular way with words. It turns out that, for Hollander, this moment was decades in the making. He first put himself in the mix to play Truman Capote in the mid-2000s, when two biopics were in simultaneous development. The eponymous Philip Seymour Hoffman vehicle that won Hoffman an Oscar, and a relatively unsung infamous starring Toby Jones. After auditioning for the latter, Hollander felt defeated when he didn't get the role. While on the precipice of a larger breakthrough, the same year as Capote's release, Hollander scored raves for his outrageous turn as Mr. Collins in Joe Wright's Pride and Prejudice, and he's more recently won awards for TV work in The Night Manager and The White Lotus. He wondered at the time why he wasn't good enough. He certainly didn't expect to get another shot.